again YouTube and for those who have seen my previous and early videos will know that most of my um, posts were based on musical instruments, primarily guitars. I've just created this new music area uh, in the bottom end of the lounge and I just wanted to go through it. It's just somewhere where I can come and enjoy playing some of my instruments instead of them all being in cases or in the box, bottom of wardrobes or wherever. First of all, my old um, first of all, my old accordion, which I've had for probably about twenty odd years. Um, it's a fun thing to play. Um, I just like the aesthetics of it. It's just a pretty instrument, and it makes a great ornament. And next to that is my classical harmonica, and I've had that. Oh, good lord! Probably about thirty years. Um, still plays perfect. Just behind that, there's my Gibson Les Paul, which is a nineteen, is a two thousand and thirteen. Sorry, um, classic uh, Les Paul. Uh, very rarely comes out of the case actually, since I had an accident with it, or or a vacuum cleaner bumped into it. So since then, uh, it doesn't come out of the case much. And just above there, um, I had an addition. A couple of years back, I bought a banjo. I just thought it looked good on the wall. So, uh, and I've sort of since started to learn to play the damn thing. Behind there, I'll just remove the hats. Yeah, that's better. Behind the chair, that is my Fender Stratocaster. I picked up at a guitar show, and that would have been about, roughly about 10 years ago. And I got it signed by the guitarist from Thin Lizzy, Scott Gorham. Right, next to that is my 2015 Gibson SG. I had an Epiphone version and I played with it for a bit. I so liked how light it was. I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm gonna go mad, I'm gonna get a Gibson version. And it's only a basic one. Uh, it didn't cost me that much, I don't, I can't remember how, how much I paid for it, but it's a cracking little guitar and it's great for doing um, sort of like lead sections and things like that. It's very easy to play. Next to that is a very old guitar indeed. That is uh, Acoustic Ovation Countryman and reading the serial code and looking it up, it's from 1974 and then it was shipped over to the UK and um, basically spent most of its time in the warehouse but uh, hey here it is it's ended up on my wall moving down one of my most unusual guitars in the collection is this 1972 Aspen um, Fender Stratocaster copy unusual because they didn't make many of them um, it was one of the first um, Fender copies and um, it actually, if you notice, it's the, uh, the, the neck, the bolts for the neck is actually next to the body instead of the top, with most of the uh, tighteners are at the top here, but this was down there and it's a solid guitar and it weighs a tonne, hence it doesn't hang on the wall. Next to that, and I bought this purely just as an ornament, but it's a great little thing, this little mandolin. It's an Ibanez mandolin, and I've had that for about 10 years. A cracking little um, mandolin, and as I say, usually just, the last place we lived, it just uh, sat on the wall. It collected dust, really, for the years, but uh, I've had it down. I've uh, actually started playing it again, which is good. And finally, uh, we have a drum kit. Uh, not that this gets played at all, but um, my better half she picked this up in a charity shop for 60 quid. So we thought, well, you know, that'll make a useful addition or just a prop in the music area. At the back here, I have two little Fender amps, uh, one which is a Fender Bullet, which is just ideal really for playing in the house or practicing. It's loud enough. Um, it has uh, loads of effects. I've had this one for probably the best part of about 15 years and what can I say, it's a great little amp, still works, um, just great for around the house. Just underneath there, that is my Fender G-Deck uh, amp, 
and I've had that for about, gosh, it's got eight, nine years. The beauty of these is because you've got backing tracks on it and you can just jam along to the backing tracks and it's a useful way of um, learning and just um, coming up with ideas really with simple backing tracks, it's great. Next to that, I have part of my Yamaha PA system. The other part is uh, just down here on the floor, and uh, which I haven't used that much, really. I've used it at, um, well, I've had it for about five, six years. I've probably used it in a hall once, but uh, really speaking in the house, uh, it probably won't get used. I might put a record player through it, I don't know, uh, in the future, but uh, other than that, uh, it's just going to live on the floor for the moment. And that is my music area. Thank you again for watching. Cheers YouTube. Bye now.